Did Judy lie to us? Well, yes and no. Judy was indeed telling us the truth about her life before the events of Street Fighter VI, but what we didn't realize was that she was only telling us half of the truth. In my previous video, I discussed not only Judy's entire life story, but I also discussed the psychological side of her. I mentioned her PTSD, her depression, the reason why she pushes people away, etc. So if you haven't already, I do recommend that you check out part one to this video so you are up to speed and are informed of not only where this topic currently stands, but who Judy is as a character. So let's begin where we left off. Judy gives the player so much information about not only her as an individual, but her life story, her relationships with past characters, but also her emotions. Let's analyze the conversation here. Judy mentions that the tragedy of the Han family was just a lie and laughs at you believing the story. However, what we know is that this is simply not the case. The whole point to Judy's arc was the path to healing. What started as a quest for revenge against Bison turned into the journey of self-discovery. Judy wouldn't be standing here in this back alley in Naishal had it not been for everything she'd been through. So we know what she's saying here is true. Judy did experience this tragedy. However, she has never opened up herself about it to anybody. Judy realizes that she's opening up a little too much and it's out of her comfort zone. This is Judy's first lie. Now let's take a look at another example. Judy mentions her relationship with C. Viper, talking about the events that happened during Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5 with both characters teaming up, even after the events of Street Fighter 5, but before Street Fighter 6. But believe it or not, this is actually another one of Judy's lies to the player. Now how do we know this? Judy has an interesting relationship with C. Viper. Sure, theirs isn't as much of a rivalry as with Judy and Chun-Li, or ever growing as Judy and Cammy's, but it's a rather unique one. A more mutual kind of relationship. What we know about C. Viper is that she works for the CIA and for a good while was an undercover spy to investigate Shadaloo. Her relationship with Judy, however, was nowhere near what she had described to us. C. Viper was not fond of Judy. Let's look at what Judy said about the events of Street Fighter 4 for starters. Judy mentions that she and C. Viper had teamed up to go up against both Bison and Seth during the uprising of SIN. However, the reality is, Judy and C. Viper never crossed paths during that time. Not even once. So how would they have teamed up? We also know that in the official canon of Street Fighter 4, C Viper didn't even win the tournament hosted by Seth. She was defeated by Bison, so she never would have witnessed the final confrontation between the two tyrants. The only time we see C Viper acknowledge Judy is from her home, buying on Chun Li's conversation with Guile, and mentions to herself that she's grateful for the intel on Judy and what SIN is planning. So with this knowledge in mind, what Judy is saying isn't even true. The events she is describing as truth are actually, in fact, fiction. Judy and C Viper had never even met at this point in time. Judy wasn't even aware of her existence. This is Judy's second line. Fast forward to Street Fighter V, the only time Judy and C. Viper had interacted with each other was when C. Viper had warned Judy about further involvement in investigating what Shadowloo had been up to. She would take Judy in and have her finally behind bars, which to Judy was not a threat that she would take seriously. Spider, the only reason you're not in jail is because you aren't the target. Keep interfering and I'll bring you in, and I doubt orange is your color. Keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, scary. With this, we know for certain that her second story about Sea Viper is also a lie. Judy mentions that her and Sea Viper would team up for a short time and destroy big corporations from the inside and ruin them financially, taking their rewards with them. This particular lie, however, is the most obvious one to those who know Sea Viper and understand her as a character. While yes, Sea Viper was believed to be a villain at first, she was just following orders from the CIA of being undercover. Sea Viper needed to do the things that she did in order to get all the intel she needed for the CIA about Shadaloo. However, this does not mean that she would team up with Judy unless she absolutely needed to. And for the reason that Judy gives, it's completely out of character for Sea Viper. The CIA would have no reason to have Sea Viper team up with Judy unless it was to pull her into a trap and arrest her for the terrorism that she had committed during the events of Street Fighter 4. So we have two examples of Judy's dishonesty. Now where does that leave us? In my previous video, I had mentioned that the reason why Judy is the way that she is with her peers is because of the fear that consumes her. This is another example of that. Judy doesn't like to open up about her past, nor tell others about herself as an individual. Individual. But just as everyone else, Judy is only human. She cannot help but to open up. It's a completely natural way to cope and to come to terms with things. Judy, however, does not like this as in her mind, 
Opening up to others is a form of weakness, so she tries to save face and play off the truth as lies while expressing her fabricated stories as truth. This is done to keep the personification of how people perceive her. However, once Judy opens up to you, she realizes she cannot hide from her past forever. It's with this she then decides to meet an old friend.